Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the dynamics of synchronous machine. Here we are going to obtain the relationship between the different inertia constant of the synchronous machine. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lectures we have discussed what is power system stability and also we have discussed the classification of the power system stability in that we have learned the different types of power system stability it was frequency stability voltage stability and the another was the rotor angle stability so now in this lecture we are going to discuss the dynamics of the synchronous machine okay or in or else in other words i can say that we are going to obtain the relationship between the inertia constants of the asynchronous machine okay so friends in this figure you can see that the alternator is represented here okay the output of the alternator is the electrical power which is shown here and here the input to the alternator is the mechanical power the shaft of this alternator it is rotating at this uh, speed of omega r and this tm is the mechanical torque and this te is the electromag electromagnetic torque okay again uh, looking to this diagram here this is the this axis it is the axis of armature okay or we can call it as the axis of rotating magnetic field okay and this axis it is of rotor rotation okay and this is the reference axis and i can call it as a stationary axis now when i measure the angle of this rotor with respect to this stationary angle stationary axis the angle what we will get is called as theta we can also call it as angular displacement okay and this angle between the rotor axis and the armature axis is this delta this angle is called as rotor angle okay so now friends this theta we can measure this either in terms of electrical degrees or we can measure it in terms of mechanical degrees and we know the relationship between theta electrical and theta mechanical it is having relationship as you have to multiply this theta with this t by 2 where this t is nothing but number of poles okay if it is a two pole machine then no issues electrical angle will be equal to mechanical angle but when it is a four pole six pole machine then in that case the angles will be different okay and we can get that angle with the help of this relationship how this relationship comes we know from the basics of the power generation okay then you see that this is the angular displacement if i differentiate this with respect to the time i will get what happen if i differentiate this with respect to the time so i will get here angular velocity okay so i'm getting here angular velocity so i'll differentiate this equation now so accordingly i can write here d by dt of this one p by 2 theta m this p by 2 is a constant i'll bring this out uh, from this d by dt so i'll get here omega is equal to p by 2 now here we will be getting d by dt of this theta m so this we, we i can write it as omega m as it simply okay so this is the angular speed in terms of electrical degrees and this is the angular speed in terms of the mechanical degrees okay it may be electrical degrees or electrical radians or mechanical degrees or mechanical radians okay again here now I want to know what is the kinetic energy 
stored in this machine or the kinetic energy stored in this rotor okay see normally if it is a linear motion we write kinetic energy as half mv square but as it is angular motion i will write here half j omega r square this j here is moment of inertia okay and r, omega r we know it is angular velocity okay this kinetic energy it has been measured in terms of mega joule okay so now you see here the units of this one moment of inertia and angular velocity angular velocity i can write it as it will be either electrical degree per second okay likewise we can have the different uh, units for this angle we can write electrical radian per second we can write mechanical degree per second we can write mechanical radian per second as well now with this the unit for this uh, moment of inertia the unit is kilogram meter square okay or else we can derive one more unit for this see this moment of inertia is here we know the unit for kinetic energy it is mega joule if i shift this term omega r square on that side so it will go in the denominator so we are getting here the unit for moment of inertia as mega joule this omega r is going in the uh, denominator and it is a square okay so we'll get here second square divided by electrical degree square okay so this way i can write the unit for this moment of inertia okay again the angular momentum angular momentum we know that when we are dealing with the linear motion the momentum is nothing but mass into velocity now when uh, as we are having in here a uh, circular motion so now for that i can write this moment of inertia m as j into omega r okay for linear motion it was simply mass into velocity so in place of mass i am writing moment of inertia and for velocity i am writing angular velocity that is omega r okay now this uh, angular momentum m m is also called as inertia constant but when it is called as inertia constant when this omega r is equal to omega s okay so the m is now having two different terms it is angular momentum when we are measuring it at omega r and it will be called as inertia constant when we are measuring it at synchronous speed okay now this m it varies with size and type of machine okay with respect to this two parameter that is size and type its value will vary okay now here this unit for this moment of angular momentum let me write it here angular momentum we are writing it as j into omega r okay so how we can write the unit for this angular momentum for j let us consider this unit it is let me change the color let us write mega joule second square divided by electrical degree square and what about the unit for this angular velocity it is electrical degree upon second so here this 
electrical degree and this square will get cancer and this second and second square will get cancer so we are getting unit for this angular momentum as mega joule second per electrical degree okay no doubt when you are measuring in it in electrical degrees you will get this here otherwise if you are measuring this angular velocity in terms of some other unit let's say electrical radian mechanical degree or mechanical radian then correspondingly you will get this value here okay let us assume that i want to measure this in terms of mechanical degree okay so what differences we we may have okay in that case i i need to write here as this m will be here now definitely here unit will be mega joule seconds per now instead of electrical i'll write here mechanical degree so we know that how this electrical degree and mechanical degree are related with they are related with the relationship of p by 2 okay so now i'm going from electrical to mechanical i need to write here 2 by p into this j into omega r okay so accordingly we will get this different uh, values either we will get j omega r or 2 by p into j omega r okay correspondingly we will have the unit as well okay now here i'm going to define one more constant re uh, related to the synchronous machine it is h what is this h let me write here this h it is the ratio of it is the ratio of mega joule of stored energy of machine at synchronous speed divided by MVA rating of machine okay so here mega joule of stored energy of the machine mega joule is nothing but the kinetic energy so i can write this h as kinetic energy at synchronous speed divided by mva rating of the machine uh, denote it with this uh, term called g okay so this g will be representing the rating of the machine okay so again here this uh, h is nothing but it is also called as inertia constant okay but here you see uh, what will be the unit here the unit here will be it will be mega joule per mva mega joule per mva that m here we have got this is also called as inertia constant okay and h is also called as inertia constant now how to identify the difference between m and h if suppose if we have given the numerical to solve on this so you will identify with respect to the units okay for h it will be mega joule per mva and for m it will be mega joule seconds per electrical degree electrical radian mechanical degree or mechanical radian likewise you will get the unit okay so now i can write it as uh, this this equation i can uh, reshuffle it as i'll write it as gh this g i'm shifting on that side gh is equal to it is kinetic energy ke at synchronous speed synchronous speed is nothing but omega s okay so i can write it as ke at omega s is nothing but 1 by 2 j omega s square okay so now uh, you see here i'll write this as 1 by 2 j omega s square so instead of omega s square i'll write it as omega s into omega s if i'm writing this you see this product j into omega s j into omega s as said it will be the inertia constant m okay i said here 
this m which is the angular momentum is called as inertia constant at synchronous speed okay so here this product i can replace it with m so we will get here half m omega s that gh is equal to half m omega s so i can write it as m is equal to 2gh divided by omega s okay furthermore this omega s i can write it as 2 pi f so this 2gh divided by 2 pi f if i write so i can simply cancel out this 2 2 so i will get here m is equal to gh divided by pi f okay now and now i want to write the unit for this okay so you see here this g into h it is nothing but it is nothing but g into h is nothing but kinetic energy so simply i'll write here for the numerator it is mega joule okay and for the denominator you see it is frequency so don't write directly for frequency as uh, upon hertz frequency is nothing but it is the reciprocal of the time so if i write time in place of frequency it will be 1 by t and that t will come in come in a numerator so here we, we will get mega joule second okay and this angle okay uh, when we are measuring it in electrical degree so we will get here electrical degree okay accordingly now since it is in pi so it should be electrical radian it will be electrical radian okay accordingly i can write it as again as gh is equal to gh in divided by now in place of pi i am writing 180 degree into f now it will become mega joule second per electrical degree okay so you, you see here this is m that is the inertia constant at synchronous speed this is h it is again a inertia constant okay but it is defined in another way it, its unit is mega joule divided by mva okay so this is giving us the relationship between the inertia constants of the machine furthermore uh, in most of the time power system or in electrical engineering while doing the calculation we do it in terms of per unit so now i want this inertia constant in in terms of per unit so what i will do is i'll shift this g which is nothing but the rating of the machine on this side okay and consider that rating as the base value so i will get here m by g will give me the per unit value okay so this m in terms of per unit we will write it as h upon either we can write pi f or we can write it as h upon 180 f okay so this will give the relationship between the two energy constant of the machines okay thank you very much